Hi, I'm going to do a quick video on how to tune your banjo without a tuner. I hardly ever use a tuner because I hardly ever play with anybody else. Um, uh, when I definitely want to know what I'm playing in, then I will, but otherwise, I, I, no, I don't really mind. And actually, I think sometimes a banjo has a sweet spot which might not be um, a standard G tuning. So anyway, this is is um, currently in, in, in what we'd call standard G tuning. Let's just mess up a bit. Ooh. Right, okay, so you pick up your banjo, it's all kind of messed up like that. Now they say that the, the string to tune first is the fifth string. And, and that's because as you tune a banjo, you tighten the strings, the bridge moves. And, and sometimes it moves forwards and sometimes it moves backwards when the sling is slacking off. So they say, to, and I don't know, I've never really found it better, but tune the fifth string first. So I, now I, I'm going to tune everything to, to what I've got on the fifth string there. So the first thing I'm going to do is tune the string that's nearest to the fifth string, and that's the first string. And the way to do it is to fret the first string at the fifth fret and then tune the first string until it's the same note. So that's too low, still too low, still too low, still a tiny bit too low. Still a fraction. Okay, now and that'll do for now, because remember the bridge will slide backwards and forwards a bit as we tune things. So then I'm going to tune the second string to the first. And what you do there is you, this is for, for a standard open G tuning, but I'm not in G, I'm just tuning relative. So, so now the second string is too high. So just slacken it off a bit. Still a bit too high. Still a bit too high. Just check again. There's been a little bit of movement there, but we can sort that out at the end. Next, I'm going to tune the third string to the second. To do that, you fret at the fourth fret. It's a bit low. Still a bit low. Still a bit low. Still a bit. Check that one, there's been a bit of slippage there. So I'll just tighten the first string a tad. So those two strings are now in tune with each other. But that sounds horrible. So that's the fourth string. So just tune the fourth string up to the third string. Fret at the fifth fret again. So that's pretty much there. I'm just going to do a last check. So fifth string and then the fifth fret on the first string should be the same. So the fifth string has slipped a tad, so I'm just going to tighten that. There we are. And then check the second string. standard G tuning but it's not in G it could be anything I think probably it's down around a um, uh, E so that's probably about an E might be a bit lower I don't know okay so now we're going to change that to double C because double C is a really nice tuning it's really nice to get it into that. And the first thing I'm going to do is tune the second string just a half step higher. So it's like one fret higher. So instead of being tuned to the fourth fret on the third string, it's going to be tuned to the fifth fret on the third string.
actually what we've got there, with just that one string change, we've gone into sawmill tuning. Okay, and when you're in sawmill tuning, we've, we've made the second string higher. So if you fret the second string at the second fret, it should now be the same as the first string. Again, it's just a little bit of slippage with the bridge. So that's sawmill tuning. To make it double C, you take the fifth string and you tune the fifth string to the third string by, by making the note, the fifth string on the seventh fret, the same. So that's the it's too high at the minute, so we lower it down. It gets to the point where you can just hear that it's in tune, but there we are. So the seventh fret should be the same as the third string now. So you've got a C there, and you've got a C there. And that note on the second string open should be the same as the twelfth fret on the fourth string on the fourth string, yeah. And if you do a harmonic, that's just gently holding your finger over the fret. Gives you a really nice long open note to tune to. fine tune so that's double C so they're the three main tunings that people will use um, the, the next most common probably is to put the fourth string back up to where it started, which is if you fret it at the fifth fret, it's the same as the second um, third string. So that's back to sawmill tuning. And then in sawmill tuning, if you take the fifth string and change that, and you tune it to the same as the first string at the third fret. You get what's called Cumberland Gap, or what I call Cumberland Gap tuning. Some people call it F tuning. Lots of people like playing this. three tunings for the price of one. Um, you don't need a tuner, you just play them with yourself, it doesn't matter. Um, use the frets and, and that works fine. If you find that you fret and and you do what I've said and it doesn't sound in tune, so you, you make these notes the same, but when you play it sounds wrong, then probably what's happened is your bridge has come out of position. And that's a different video, that's about setting your intonation. But uh, yeah, we'll do that another time. All right, cheers.